I play Roxy and she's very young. Uh, she's this sexy young girl, very naive, um, very optimistic. You know, I feel like she's a little bit of, what? <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. She's very much like, it's a great day no matter what. And she's just, you know, I don't know. She's very naive though. Honestly, I grew up watching telenovelas with my mother. She's like addicted. Um, I think novelas in general, they just really suck you in. They're shot beautifully. There's the wind. It's dramatic. You can't help but fall in love with the characters. I feel like our show combines that element, that beautiful whatever, with cut, here's real life. And this is what real, you know, novella stars might deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's just as dramatic and whatever. So I feel like it's relatable because in one sense, people want to like, they're sucked into the story. And then the minute it cuts, it's like, oh yeah, I can relate to that. I've been cheated on. I fight with my girlfriend. I, you know, I just feel like overall it's going to suck in a huge audience because so many people will be able to appeal. Working with Eva is amazing. I mean, she's a veteran in the game, so she's done it. And from day one, I remember getting the first phone call from her, like, Jaden, you got the part. I'm crying, and I'm like, oh my god. And she's literally like, I want to be your mentor. If you need anything, this is my number, this is my email, you reach out. I remember being new, and I needed mentors, and I want to be that for you. She has been amazing. I always laugh because she plays, she wears so many hats. She'll be in the middle of a scene, and then it's like, no, let's get that over. She goes into like producer mode, and then it's like, your hair's not right, and she's fixing my hair, and she wears all hats. She's amazing.